there are so many parcels that get delivered in December ready for January release there's a lot going on right now gives one length a chance and mine remains <laughs> unchanged. Nice. What is it? Wedges. New wedges. They've been out a little while but um, very different and really interesting how they perform in the hands of an average golfer. Look at that. Where's your new house Penny? Why are you sitting on someone's knee when you should be in your new house. Come and show us. Get in, Pen. Show everybody how you love it. No? Do you not like it? Do you know what? They've. Um, I've just opened a couple of these. What they've done, I've only seen pictures of these wedges uh, on Tinternet, but I thought they'd done something, and uh, they have, and that is they've, they've hid the bulk of the club so where you see, and again from images I've seen, you've got this kind of mass on the top line. Because it's sort of chamfered right off at a real sharp angle, when you sit that club at a dress, all you see is the regular top line that you'd see on a standard wedge. So you've got all that sort of uh, bulk mass, which is going to make it effectively, I reckon, like a game improvement wedge. But visually, it just looks like a regular wedge sat at a dress. That's quite clever, isn't it? Right, full wedge in, 54, finish on a high. Oh, it's right down the pipe. Be right, be right. Go in. Oh, he's hold it. I've hold it. I've literally, I don't know whether you can pick that up. That's gone in the hole. I swear to God that has gone in the hole. That's about as animated as you will ever see me, and I hope to God that's still on record. Ah, wow. That club's going in the bag. That has gone in the hole. Yes, I'm down here at Conway Golf Club, out in, uh, in reality, testing products where they should be. And we're gonna see how these things perform, because I'm really, I said in the uh, intro, really interested in these wedges, because I think that a lot of average golfers could benefit from this style of wedge in their bag and I certainly have done on a personal note um, I gained that sort of wider sole uh, Cleveland CBX model and it helped me massively in not only improving my game but where it improved my game it also improved my confidence and we all know that's a massive factor so I find these products very very interesting they've done a fantastic job in the way they uh, they look how will they perform we'll find that out but it's a little bit of tech spec which I could attempt to explain but I'm going to leave it to Chris Voshall from Mizuno and he gives an explanation as to what is so interesting about these wedges and the way they've been designed. The traditional wedge shape with a longer hosel design and the low heel it's traditionally it's going to pull the center of gravity towards the heel so the sweet spot's not centralized on the wedge so what that means is when you hit one in the middle in the center of the score lines as everybody aims to do you're actually miss hitting it slightly however if you can neutralize that sweet spot if you can get it right to the center of the score lines then all those miss hits are minimized it's less of a miss hit you're going to get more consistency and honestly that's the real idea behind the es21 wedge 
Yeah, an interesting thing that I love is from the engineering side that we did to it is it actually, if you look on the back part, right in the center of the back, there's a little logo. That's the logo of a center of gravity. It'll balance directly on that center of gravity logo. So that wedge can balance right on there, which is something that no other wedge in the market can do. And it just shows that we dialed it in specifically to the center of the score lines. We've done it with a two-piece construction. It's a grain flow forged boron face and neck part welded to a stainless steel back piece. And the interesting thing is when you look inside that back piece, what we've done to the weighting. We've stripped out all of the material from the heel side, minimum thickness everywhere, and we've shoved all of that mass on the high toe side. So the interesting thing about this wedge is the construction is so different that you're going to see something different depending on the angle you look at it. If you look at this club from behind, you see a lot of thickness, a ton of mass up high, and a very unique shape. It's almost, it, it looks big. However, when you look at it at a dress, all of that goes away. All of a sudden, it still has that player's shape that you're looking for. So what may look on the shelf like a game improvement or for a high handicap wedge is not that at all. When you look at it at a dress, you realize that high handicaps, low handicaps, anybody looking for more consistency out of their short game can get that out of the ES21. Yeah, that's not bad, I'd say that any day of the week. The interesting bit for me is um, from what Chris said, and uh, yeah, I couldn't have put it better myself, is that we've played a number of shots from in and around this green. And um, I don't know about sweet spots and where they're positioned on wedges. That's not my uh, expertise. I'm not quite sure what is. But what I will say is that I've, it's felt very, very good wherever I've struck this golf ball. It interested me the idea that a lot of wedges, uh, their sweet spot is positioned towards that um, heel, I think, did he say? It certainly wasn't centre anyway, uh, which is really odd because, like you say, you position that ball in between those centre lines. And like I said, the feel and sound out of this wedge is superb. And it's where it's got a bit of an edge on its rivals, I think. Well, another day of testing, another day of great sunshine and weather down at Conway Golf Club, which is, uh, is looking superb, by the way. Uh, just a quick request, um, if you like what you see on this channel, then uh, I would really appreciate it if uh, you hit that subscribe button. It means a great deal. And uh, if you like what you see in this video, then please hit that like. And uh, once again, thank you, if you do either. And it's almost a range of what you call, uh, I suppose, speciality wedges, in that uh, the lofts are, it's only available from 54 to 62 in standard sole and 54 to 60 in this sort of wide sole. Uh, I'll show you some close-ups of uh, how this club looks on, uh, on, on other clips. But they've then got an interesting thing where there's one degree increments, so 54, 55, 56, 57, and so on. So it's really a good way of sort of honing your gap in. But I think, like I said, just on overall looks, I just want to touch on that again. The, um, it's this KBS High Rev uh, 2 shaft in this black finish, which into this black PVD head, uh, I often say, you kind of buy with your eyes first and foremost and to see that club in the bag i think they've got an absolutely stunning finish of it the one thing and i'm just going to repeat it again that i was worried about is some images make it look quite bulky uh, which like i said i suppose it is but then i can't reiterate enough uh, how well they've done in terms of when you sit it behind the ball and also this change in coloring so it's a very light silver finish right up against the black but that silver finish on the top line is very, very thin. So it is a fantastic way of making you think you've got uh, that, like I said, player's wedge in your hand, but a bit of help. Honestly, it is so, so good. I'm, I'm, you know, we'll do a summary, I suppose, but I'm mega impressed with these things. I really am. This kind of shot for me would have been a nightmare a couple of years ago before. I, I lost confidence in my wedge game. And this was a kind of one you're looking to sort of blade right through the back or stump it right into the bank. And I think, again, that's what these wedges have helped me do. And I love, again, this wider sole. This has got, so it's the wider sole, it's 58, and it's just perfect. You've got that horrible angle. You've got to carry it. You know that's the shot. Um, it's not a bad lie, I don't suppose, but you just, it's the confidence. These things just, for me, that width of sole just seems to slide underneath. 
and even with the camera on that's not bad but you know what i think again that was i don't know how much you noticed in that but i almost chunked it a little bit but the sole again just helped it sort of slide across that first layer of turf and definitely helped me out i think with that thinner club i may be going a little bit ott here and but i certainly felt that little bit of drag early on and it just slid through the club uh, the ground really and just popped it up quite nice maybe i'm just oversold on these things but i don't care because you know it certainly works for me and it's boosted my confidence in my wedge game massively let me show you this Let's see if we can get that picked up hopefully that's focusing because i'm right into the sun but that little green patch there is some wet grass and i've effectively hit dead center into where chris voshall explained earlier as to where they've placed that sweet spot now, I don't know whether I've done that on every ball, I've no idea, but I've just come to hit that, uh, this next wedge shot in, and that's what I've noticed. So I think I'm gonna end it here because um, a real case in point in uh, what I was about to say, there's a massive marketing train that keeps on rolling forward and that ain't never gonna change. But I think what I like about this um, test and this club is that what Chris Voschel said has rang true in every sense of the word. It's easy to be positive in club reviews because really all clubs are good nowadays. It's difficult to pick fault. But I would say this is a real good product and I think it's a real good product for average golfers, as I've kept saying. The feel out the club is exceptional. I like that wide sole. I love the way it looks. I've not mentioned spin, but the spin and control seems fantastic. We're playing in wet conditions down here at Conway, even though the sun is shining and it's grabbed so well. Most of what I've done has been short game in and around the greens because that's where I think, again, us average golfers lose a lot of shots and could perhaps uh, gain some advantage. Um, full shots in, I'm not really sure of my distances with the two. I've got 54 and 58, by the way. Uh, but the ultimate thing is for me is that I would have no hesitation in to put these in the bag. In fact, they're going in the bag at Mizuno. You ain't getting them back. Um, the bonus they have, I'm a massive fan of the Cleveland CBX, but these have just got, they've tipped the balance with the feel, the spinning control, like I said, I'm repeating myself. Look, I can't, Mizuno's products right now, I think they're sort of smashing it, to be honest with you. So uh, I'm giving them far too much praise. Uh, next thing, you know, they'll be, uh, they'll be, you'll be accusing me of uh, getting paid to do these reviews because that's how positive I am about this product. So uh, I'll have to take it easy. Anyway, as ever, like I said, uh, if you like what you see, uh, then uh, maybe subscribe, maybe hit that like button, but certainly comment down below. And uh, seriously, my advice would be go and try these yourself because I reckon, uh, I reckon you'd like them. Right, full wedge in, 54. Finish on a high. right down the pipe be right be right go in oh he's hold it i've hold it i've literally i don't know whether you can pick that up that's gone in the hole i swear to god that has gone in the hole that's about as animated as you will ever see me and i hope to god that's still on record ah wow that club's going in the bag that has gone in the hole 